on the way home now. Long ass day with the baseboards done. The doors are hung. Had to shave a little bit off each door, you know, because when you put tile in on a room that wasn't tiled, it raises the whole floor about, uh, depending on about two and a half inch and an inch, you know, depending. So I had to cut the base. I had to cut the bottoms of all the doors. The doors are hung. The baseboards are done. The toilet's done. I reseated the sitter. I reseated the cedar. Um, I'm thinking about changing the location of the thermostat because it's in a weird place, and it's I don't like it. And since it's my house, I can do whatever the hell I want, right? Right? Oh, no, no, that's not right. I gotta ask the king if they can give me permission to do that. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm gonna do it whether you like it or not. Um, so I'm going home, getting blown all over the road. It's really, really crazy the way the wind blows out here. It's this little stretch of road. That's why there's nothing out here, because it just... Whoosh. Can you see the... I don't know, while you're inside, you can My car's getting blown all over the road. Um... So I said I'd talk about racism on the way home. Because racism is a thing that's really heavy these days. And, you know, I hate to insult all the stupid people out there, but racism is pretty much just for stupid people. I mean, I, I get your idea. I don't hate on the separation idea. I mean, hey, if that's what you want to do, do it. But you're, you're setting yourself short. You know what I mean? It's there. There's all these. Well, I don't. It's that's on another post. But still, you know the racism thing. It's it's a terrible thing. And I, I'm not racist. I hate everybody equally. You come up to me, I don't like you. Period. It's up to you to just show me that. Hey, man, I'm not so bad. You know what I mean? And still, I don't like you. It, it takes me a minute to get used to people. Man, my car's getting blown all over the road. Uh, I'd show you, but you can't see the wind. I am getting blown all over the road. Um, yeah, racism, it's its pretty much just a dumb idea. You don't like somebody because they're different. Well, everybody's different. But a great man said, a great, great, very great man said, until the color of a man's skin is no more important than the color of his eyes, the world will not know peace. And that's true. Because, you know, we're, we all come from the same place. You know, whether it be a disc or a, you know, like I said last time, whether it's round or a new, or a disc. No, I know I wasn't. Uh, it's, it's just stupid. You know, we're all from the same place, so why not work on it together? Oh, no, we can't work together! Because then I'd have to wait in line for first class. There would be no such thing as first class. You know. Man, it's windy out here. So I'm passing the prison again. It's some crazy shit, that industry right there. Big, nice building, you know, you can house a lot of people for doing crimes they done, done, did. Oh, look, is that my cousin? That might be my cousin. He lives out here. Uh, I got a lot of cousins. I, got, I know a lot of people. I got a lot of family. Um, yeah, but see, I get off topic. But racism, for, it's just not for me. I, I, I don't like you in the first place. So it's not the fact that you have green hair or you have, you know, your color different or you talk different, you know what I mean? And that's something I'm trying to, to get over, you know what I mean? Because I'm standing in my, I'm standing in my own way right there, you know what I mean? You can learn a lot of stuff from different people, so I, I'm trying to change it, you know what I mean? That's why I'm talking all this stuff, trying to do all these posts so I can learn, you know what I mean? Because I, I, I'm pretty insightful, I'm pretty smart. And so that means you guys are too. So why stand for the crap that we're being fed? You know what I mean? We have so much stuff. So much stuff gets thrown away. So much, so many things. And they always say, oh, well, we, we wouldn't have come so far if it wasn't. No, we would have come farther. We would have come much farther. You guys are lazy. Anyway. Yeah, so, you know, like, the racism thing, you know, it's easy. 
you know what I mean? Like, see, I used to be a fat guy, and I see how it, I'm still pretty fat, but I'm not as big as I used to be, and I still see the way they tease people who happen to be different. Oh, what are they called? Uh, skinny challenged. No, no, it's you. If you if you change that one word, it's different. You know what I mean? Change it from from a fat guy. Hey man, there was a fat guy in the road. You want to hear a joke? Oh no, 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 because I'm, I'm a fat guy. I don't want to hear that joke. Oh well, well, let me tell you about the spick in the road. Oh well, no, 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 no spick in the road. That's because I'm a Mexican too. You know what I mean? It's whatever, whatever. But you know, it's well. I could go deeper too and, and get a whole bunch of people pissed off, but I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? Because you guys are all me. Uh, we're all you. We're, it's, we never get anywhere if we keep standing in each other's way. Holy crap! I'm getting blown all over the road. Um, look at these guys in their fancy cars, and they're and they're not doing much better than I am. That's funny shit. They should be flying right by me, and they're not. So, like here, here, here in the where I'm from, there, there's a lot of racism, you know. There's, and it's funny because it's against people in your own family. You know what I mean? And that's that's what makes me laugh. It's, it's ridiculous. And I, I, I don't like most of my family. I don't go, you know, I don't go to my, to my, what do they call those things? Uh, Get-togethers and reunions and shit like that. Because they're idiots. They're my family's a bunch of idiots. Whoa! Check that shit out. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm, I'm just going, I'm going balls out and I'm barely getting anywhere. Uh, yeah, my family, they're, they're really well, that doesn't say nothing for me, too, because they're my family, so that means I'm an idiot, too, but I see the difference, and I see the trying to change it, and I try to be different. You know what I mean? I don't... Like, I was trying to tell this guy, I was saying, who's, who's the stupid guy? Who's the stupid one? The one who plays stupid? Or all the other people that he's convinced that he's stupid? I don't know. I think it's all the other people. Because they all think he's stupid, but he's just playing. It's, I don't know, there used to be a guy, his name was MC 900 Foot Jesus. Look up that song. Say hello to the killer inside me. It's a good song, you know what I mean? And it's, it's kind of the way some people are. And here, here out where I live, that's the way a lot of people are. Not that they're killers, they're just plastic. The way the person you see is not who they are. You know what I mean? I don't care what you think of me. I, I, I was going to shave my head, you know, everybody goes, see, 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 I have dreadlocks. See my dreadlocks? Uh, I was going to shave my head. And I was like, man, if I shave my head next month, I got to shave my head again. And then the month after that, I got to shave my head again. And then I got to shave my head again. So every month, I'm going to have to be shaving my head. So I just said, man, let's see if my hair dreads out. And my hair is pretty thick and not right away. So I figured I'd have dreads within a week. It took almost a year before they really started dreading up. You know, and I'm uh, four or five years into it now. They're all right. They're they're they're, they're not bad. You know, dreads are dreads. You know, I didn't do nothing. No back combing. No waxing. No nothing. I just stopped combing my hair, and that's what happened. And people are prejudiced against people with the dreadlocks, and I don't really care. You know, it's not my fault. Well, who cares? It's my. It's it's the. the perfect reason I, I grew the dreads because I reject the society that's going on you know what I mean I go, it's exactly what's going on is crap you know, we're, we're throwing away food when people should be eating we're throwing away cars when people don't have no vehicles you know we're throwing away lives when children need families and it's just ridiculous it's here here